Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And here we are in Game 4 of the 1979 World Series. And by the way, I've got the washer and dryer going in the background. Hopefully that's not too distracting. Um, and you can still hear everything I'm saying and, uh, and be able to follow the game. So anyway, we are coming into Game 4 of the series with the Cincinnati Reds up three games to nothing. So if the Reds win today, that's it. The series is over, and the Reds are the world champions of 1979, even though they weren't actually even in the real World Series. Um, going today for the Orioles will be Scott McGregor. And there's his card. There's his 1979 card. And he will be facing Bill Bonham, who will be going for the Reds. And again, it's kind of the same deal as the other game was when Fred Norman pitched. The Reds are basically playing with house money here, so they can afford to pitch Bonham. Um, I don't know what the likelihood would have been if, of Fred Bonham or uh, Bill Bonham pitching in the World Series had the Reds made it to the World Series, but he's here and he's facing McGregor. And the thing I remember about Scott McGregor is that he had an exaggerated what I would call Little League uh, windup. The way he did his windup with his arm motion swinging from the back to the front and up over his head while he kicked his leg up it was kind of, to me, it looked like an exaggerated like Little League motion. Like, almost like he... Um, Almost like he never he never uh, lost that little league wind up motion that he was maybe taught when he was young. So anyway, that's just kind of uh, like a little sidebar there. Um, if if you guys uh, have any comment about that, if maybe if you felt the same way, I'd, it would be it would be nice if other people have felt the very same way about that that I do. But anyway. Um, so here we are, and if you missed any of the previous videos, I recommend you go back and watch them. They were all, uh, they were all very good games. And not only that, but um, also I want to let people know if this is the first game that you're tuning into, um, I'm playing with a DH in this game, or in this series, even though the real series in 1979 was pitcher bat. Uh, the reason for that is it just gives me one less thing I have to think about while I'm doing the game and, and televising it. I did do pitcher bat, of course, in the NLCS. And um, there was an NLCS I did in 19, for the 1978 playoffs where I actually made a mistake and skipped the team's entire at bat. So things like that, the more I have to think about the... Um, the uh, the more likely I am to make mistakes that I don't want to be making. So that's mainly the reason for the DH here. So, um, and we do, I want to let you know that we, uh, Baltimore has two injuries to report that are our, our uh, season or series wide injuries. They're going to span the entire series no matter how many games it goes. Um, and that is Gary Renicky and um, Mark Belanger are both out. So you have John Lowenstein playing in place of um, Ronicky, and you have Kiko Garcia playing shortstop instead of Belanger, who was much better defensively, um, was Belanger. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with the series. Uh, McGregor versus Bonham. Al Bumbry steps in against Bonham, and he gets a 1-9, which is a double 1-12. And that's going to be a single. So he's held to a single. Bill Bonham gives up his first hit. Uh, they're not going to try to steal. Bench is behind the plate, and they got burned last uh, game trying to steal. So Ken Singleton will just hit. He gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a single one to eight. And that is a single. So the red bird, or the uh, not the red birds, the uh, the brown birds have two runners on. The first two batters have gotten hits off of Bonham, 
and Eddie Murray's up and he gets a 5-9 and that's a triple one to four single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk. So he knocks in, uh, he really only knocks in one run on that. So the run scores, uh, the run in Bunbury scores. Um, Murray with the uh, with the RBI, but now runners at the corners, no outs. Bottom has faced three batters. He's allowed three hits, and Lowenstein's up, and he gets a six-four, which is a single that knocks in another run. So he gets an RBI, and a run scores in the person of Singleton. Bonham gives up his fourth hit to the fourth batter and now two runs have scored and Lee May is up and he gets a 2-9 which is a home run 1-5 to five or a fly ball and that's going to be a three run home run by Lee May so this is really kind of incredible here far different than what um was going on in the other in the other games run 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 and then one two three RBIs and Bonham gives up his fifth hit and his yep fifth run and uh, yeah they're gonna get somebody up in the bullpen Bonham really just did not come with his good stuff today and getting up in the bullpen is going to be Tom Hume. And Doug DeSensei steps in. And he gets a 3-6, which is a walk. So Bonham still hasn't gotten anybody out here. Dower is up. Rich Dower, 1-6 is a single, and he still has not. This is incredible. I've, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my life. And Kiko Garcia is up, and he gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball to center. And the center fielder is a 2. That's Cesar Geronimo. And that's a 13. And 13-2 and two is an out, finally. There's one out. Garcia with a fly out to center. And that is going to be it for Bonham. Bonham goes one third of an inning. Gives up six hits and a walk and five earned runs. And yields to Tom Hewitt. With Rick Dempsey up, two birds on. One out, 6-11 is a fly ball right. The right fielder for the Reds is Griffey, and he's a three, and that's a four. That's going to be something. That is a safe at second on error, so another run scores. On an East Eden, um, what is that? 6-11? Yeah. E9. And uh, DeSensei scores that run. Um, it's an unearned run. And Bumbry's up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a single double asterisk. So he knocks in two. So that's a run by Dower, and a run by Dempsey. And yeah, so um, yeah, that was and that was a hit. Hit first hit given up by Hume. 
So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight runs so far. And Ken Singleton up with a one nine, which is a walk. And Hume walks his first guy. Eddie Murray gets a 6-8, which is a single one to seven. And that's going to be a single. Still only one out here. And um, the bases are loaded. And Lowenstein's up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball shortstop. And the shortstop is a 1, and that's a 19, which is a an out 3. So that ends the inning. Lowenstein, 6-4-3. And they get out of the inning, but not before... Not before Baltimore gets eight runs in the top of the first, right off the bat. So this is kind of a, uh, looks like this will be a loss for the Reds. Tough to see them coming back from this, but who knows. Dave Collins steps in and he gets a 5-4. It's a fly ball center field. One away. Joe Morgan up, he gets a 4-9, which is a fly ball left field. And then that brings up Ken Griffey. And Ken Griffey gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball second base. So they go very quickly, as opposed to the Orioles, who managed to bat around and then some and score eight in the first. And now May is up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball center field. One away. Doug DeSensei gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball third base. And John McNamara is probably asking, where were all these outs last inning? 6-4 is a pop out to third. So the Orioles get no runs in the second, but really uh, they probably don't even need any more. And now George Foster comes up and he gets a 2-5, which is a single one to 17. And that is a single for George Foster. First hit allowed by McGregor. Johnny Bench gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball third base A. So 5-4-3, double play. Two away. Andreessen up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a pop out to first. And no runs come in for the Reds in the second. Kiko Garcia up. He gets a 6-5, which is a single. Another hit allowed by Hume. Rick Dempsey up. He gets a 3-4, which is a pop-out to short. One away. Bumbry with a man on. Gets a 1-7, which is a single. So Bumbry's having a better... Bumbry's having a better World Series than he had ALCS, for sure. And two runners are on with one out and Singleton up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball to shortstop, and he's a 1. That's Concepcion, that's an 18, and that is an out double play. So, 6-4-3, and the O's go pretty quietly there in the third. And Ray Knight steps up. And Ray Knight gets a single. Leads off with a single against McGregor. Only the second hit, second base runner allowed by McGregor. Concepcion up, he gets a 2-8, which is a fly ball left field B. One away. Caesar Geronimo gets a 3-5, which is a single. Third 
third hit allowed by McGregor. Two runners on, Collins up. He gets a 2-8, which is a single, so the Reds load the bases. But they still got a long, long way to go. Bases full, one out, Joe Morgan up, 6-9 is a single one to eight. And that is going to be a single, and it drives in a run. So an RBI for Morgan. The run is Ray Knight. Another hit and the first earned run. The first run for the Reds. Ken Griffey's up. He gets a 5-4, which is a fly ball center field B, but that does score a run. Sack fly, RBI, and that scores Geronimo. And now there's two out. And that brings up George Foster. Or no, yes, George Foster, and he gets a 4 8, which is. A triple one to four or a single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in one run. And that runner is Collins. So Foster with the RBI. Johnny Bench up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball second base. That's Dower. Dower's a 2. That's a 5. Probably going to be an out. 5-2, and it is. So Johnny Bench bounces out to Dower, 4-3. But the Reds do strike for 3, and now they're only down by 5. Eddie Murray up. He gets a 1-12, which is a ground ball... B to first base plus injury and he stays in the game and that's good news for the Orioles they didn't really didn't need that so we're gonna say that's uh, three to one one away Lowenstein gets a five five which is a home run one to nine off of Hume and it's really a double So Lowenstein rips a double. May comes up and he gets a 4-8, which is a fly ball right field. That's two away. And now we got Doug DeSensei up and he gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball third base A. So he goes out 5-3. And they get no runs, despite the fact they did get a man on second with a double. And, uh, and we go to the bottom of the fourth with the Baltimore winning, er, er, yeah, winning the game 8-3 right now. And Dan Dreesen up in the fourth. That's a 5-6, which is a fly ball right field. Away. Ray Knight gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a home run one to no. Nope. That's on McGregor is a pop-out third base. So Knight pops out to five, two away. And Concepcion gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball shortstop, and the shortstop is a three. That's Kiko Garcia. 15 and 3 is a one-base error by Kiko Garcia. So, Concepcion's on by an E6, and we got to give the air to Garcia. Geronimo up, he gets a 5-12, which is a catcher's card, and the catcher's a 1. That's Johnny Bench, 14 and 1, and catcher is a foul out. So, Geronimo fouls out to 2. And that ends that. No runs come across. We go to the top of the fifth. 
And there's going to be a new pitcher for the Reds, Hume. Uh, Hume only goes one, two, three, three, and three and two thirds. The Reds will bring in Paul Moscow. In the top of the fifth, the Orioles up with Dower batting against Moscow. And he gets a 2 7, which is a ground ball third base. So one away. Kiko Garcia gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. It's the first strikeout for any Reds pitcher, and Paul Moscow gets it, and Rick Dempsey comes up, and he gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball shortstop. So he bounces out to short, 6-3, and the Orioles get no runs in the fifth. Still up by, uh, by five runs here, though. So the Reds still have more work to do with Collins stepping in, and he gets a 2-7, which is a single. McGregor giving up his sixth hit. Joe Morgan up. He gets a 2-12, which is a ground ball, second base, A++, so that's a double play. 4-6-3, double play, two away. And Ken Griffey up, and he gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. And that is McGregor's first strikeout of the game. We go to the top of the sixth. Bumbry batting against Moscow. 5-6 is a double, 1-6 to six or a single. That's going to be a single for Bumbry at the top of the order. First hit allowed by Moscow. Singleton up. He gets a 5-9, which is a ground ball second base C. So that moves Bumbry to second. And there's one out with Murray up. Eddie Murray, and he gets a 4-8, which is a home run 1-8 to eight or a double. And that's a double, and it's going to score a run. That scores, uh, that scores Bumbry, scores his second run of the game, and Murray gets his second RBI. Lowenstein up, and he gets a 3-9, which is a double 1-5 to five or a single. That's going to be a single that drives in the run, drives in Murray. His second RBI of the game, and Murray's second run score to the game. And then that brings up Lee May, and he gets a 6-3, who, uh, and that's a fly ball to the left. The left fielder is George Foster, and he's a 4. That's a 19. 19 and 4 is a select another. That's a 17, and that's going to be an out 1. So the runner advances. Lee May gets a sack fly. And Doug DeSense up, and he gets a 210, which is a ground ball, third base B. But the, um, the, uh, the Orioles get a run there in the sixth, and now it's 9 to 3. The Reds are down by six, and. Uh, Brings up Cincinnati in the sixth. George Foster, he gets a 5-8, which is a pop-out to short. One away. Johnny Bench gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. Looks like McGregor's maybe hitting his stride now. And Dreesen's up, 6-7, and that's a strikeout. And that would be the third strikeout of the game for McGregor. Um, 
So now Dower is leading off in the seventh against Moscow, who's still out there. 310 is a ground ball shortstop. So Dower bounces out 6-3 to lead off the seventh. One out. Garcia up. 3-7 is a strikeout. Moscow strikes out a guy. And Dempsey gets a 5-11, and that is a strikeout. No runs for the Orioles, but they maintain the 9-3 lead. And that's going to be it for McGregor. McGregor pitched uh, six innings. And they are going to bring in relief in the person of I guess they're going to bring in Don Stanhouse. So Stanhouse up uh, uh, on the mound and pitching to Ray Knight to lead off the bottom of the seventh. He gets a 3-7, which is a single. One batter, one hit. Dave Concepcion up. 6-7 is a ground ball short. Shortstop is Kiko Garcia. He's a 3. That's a 9. Uh, 9 and 3 is an out double play. So Concepcion bounces into a 6-4-3 double play. There is now 2 out. And that brings up uh, Geronimo, who has a 311, which is a ground ball first base B. 3 to 1, no runs, top of the eighth. The Orioles up. And that's going to be Bumbry with a 2 5, which is a walk. And Bumbry really is having a resurgence here in the World Series because he was almost what you might want to even say terrible in the ALCS. But he's aboard and Singleton's up and he gets a 6-7 which is a walk on Moscow's card and so now the Orioles have two guys on. That forces Bumbry down a second. Moscow has really been effectively ineffective and 3-2 is a line out into as many outs as possible which will be a triple play. So the Reds pull off a much needed triple play. Um, I'm not even going to write down what that is. I'm just going to write triple play. And the Orioles get out of the inning. Or the Orioles, yeah, the, well the Reds get out of the inning. And uh, that brings up Collins to bat against Don Stanhouse. He gets a 4-8, which is a walk. And Collins won't even think about it. Down by six runs. Won't even think about stealing. And Joe Morgan comes up. He gets a 5-7, which is a walk. So the Reds get the first two guys on. Forces Collins down to second. Ken Griffey up, and he gets a 4-5, which is a double one to three single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk that knocks in a run. Uh, RBI for Griffey, run scored for Collins, second run of the game scored for Collins. Hit allowed by Stanhouse and the first uh, earned run for him. George Foster up. He gets a 3-8, which is a strikeout, so there's one out. Stanhouse gets the K. Johnny Bench is up. He gets a 4-6, 
which is a single one to nine. And that is a single, and that drives in a run and keeps the inning going. So RBI and a run scored by Morgan. So that's two runs for the Reds here so far with still only one out. And Dan Dreesen up and he gets a 1-7 which is a pop out to first base, two away. And Ray Knight's up and he gets a 4-5 which is a double one to three, single double asterisk. That's going to be a single that scores another run. So RBI by Ray Knight, run scored by Griffey, another run allowed by Stanhouse, third run this inning and Concepcion is up and he gets a 3-5 which is a triple one or a single double asterisk, single double asterisk, so that's another run in, RBI, Run scored by Bench. And uh, they're going to bring, they're going to get uh, Tippy Martinez. The Orioles are getting Tippy Martinez up in the bullpen with, um, yes, with uh, Cesar Geronimo up. He gets a 4 5. That is a double one to three, single double asterisk, and that's going to be, what is that? A double. That's a double. So that scores at least one. So let's see here. RBI, run scored by Knight. Um, hit and an earned run, and that's another run, and... The runner is Concepcion, and he's a 1-17. to They're going to send him. And a 15, so that was a center fielder's arm. The center fielder is Bumbry. And uh, Bumbry's arm is a plus 1, so he actually does make it, and that's another, that's another run. And uh, so let's see here. Geronimo gets another RBI, and Concepcion scores a run. And they will bring in. Uh, so what is this now? It's six, nine to nine. It's nine to nine. The Reds have come back and tied this up. This is incredible. All right, so. Um, yeah, they're going to bring in Tippy Martinez. Stanhouse was horrible. And Tippy Martinez comes in. Um, Stanhouse went six, one, and two thirds. Think right? Is there two outs? Yeah, there is two outs. So, runner at second, and uh, Dave Collins comes up, and he gets a six-five on Tippy Martinez, which is a single. And uh, so Martinez is greeted by a hit. Geronimo is the runner. Geronimo is a 1 to 15. They are going to try that. And that's a 17. And this was hit to right field. The right fielder is. Um, um, is Singleton. And Singleton is a negative 1. So he is gunned. They had to try it though. And it didn't work. But they did tie the game. So it is 9-9 going to the top of the ninth. 
and uh, yeah, so now the Reds are, they got to get serious now. They got to, um, they're going to get Doug Bear up in the, up in the bullpen. And Lowenstein up in the ninth. He gets a 2-7, which is a ground ball third base B. 5-3, one away. Lee May comes up. He gets a 4-7, which is a triple 1-2 or a single. That's going to be a single for Lee May. It would be difficult to imagine Lee May getting a triple. One on, one out. Desense up, and he gets a 4-4, which is a line out to first base. Two away. And Rich Dower. Rich Dower gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball third base. So he grounds out to third, 5-3. to three. No more damage done, although somebody did get on. Uh, Tippy Martinez is still out there for the Orioles. As we go to the bottom of the ninth, and if the Reds can score a run here, they win the World Series. So let's see what they can do. 6-11, left field fly ball, Lowenstein, he's a 2. That's a 3, that's going to be something big. 3-2 is a safe at second on error. So Joe Morgan is on by an error by the... Um, what, 6'11", left field, by the left fielder, Lowenstein. E7, and that brings up Griffey. And Griffey is going to sacrifice him over. And that's a 6, probably worked. Batter is thrown out by third baseman, runners advance one. Now they've got a runner just 90 feet away with one out. And the uh, infield's going to come in for the Orioles. And really so is the outfield, for what that's worth. 5-8 is a strikeout. So Ken, so uh, George Foster strikes out. And now the uh, Orioles outfield and infield will play back to normal depth. With 1-8 um, is a ground ball. A, a ground ball third base A for bench. So bench grounds out five to three. They get no runs in the ninth, but we go to the tenth. And that's going to be it for Paul Moscow. They bring in Doug Bear. Moscow went, um, let's see. Moscow went five, so that was that was kind of uh, some serious duty for him. So Doug Bear will come in. And he's going to face the uh, Oriole lineup, starting with Kiko Garcia here in the 10th. 6-5 is going to be a strikeout. Bear faces one guy, strikes him out. Dempsey comes up. He gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball third base. Uh, so he gets he grounds out 5-3. And that brings up Bumbry, and he gets a 2, uh, what is that, 2-9 is a fly ball. So Bumbry flies out. To, uh, what is that, 2 9? Fly ball center field, so he flies out to 8, and that's it for the O's in the 10th. And again, the Reds find themselves with a chance to win the World Series here in the bottom of the 10th. Dan Greeson up. 1 8 is a ground ball short. The shortstop is Kiko Garcia. He's a 3, that's an 11. 11 and 3 is an out, so Greeson bounces out. One away, Ray Knight up, he gets a 1-7, which is a single. So Ray Knight rips a single.
Dave Concepcion is up and he gets a 310, which is a strikeout. Martinez with the K. Cesar Geronimo up and he gets a 3-5, which is a single. So Geronimo keeps their hopes alive here. Which forces Knight down to second. And Dave Collins up and he gets a 5-8, which is a strikeout. Ken Singleton up in the bottom or in the uh, top of the 11th. 6 7 is a strikeout, so Bear strikes him out. Bear's been the most effective Reds pitcher actually today. Eddie Murray, 2 7, which is, is a single. So Murray gets a single, ripping a base hit. Um, off a of bear. John Lowenstein gets a 412, which is a ground ball second base, and the second baseman is a, what is he for them? It is a two, that's Joe Morgan, 19 and two, is an out one. So that's two away, but a runner at second now. As Lowenstein gets a fielder's, hits into a fielder's choice, which Moves Murray down to second. And Lee May up, and he gets a 3-5, which is a single. And there's a chance they could send him, and they really have to, because they have got to have this run. And uh, the runner is, well, the runner's Murray. Let's see what he is. A 1-13. Going to the right fielder. And the right fielder is Griffey. Griffey's a zero, so it's a 1-13 to 13 chance. They're going to take the chance they've got to. And he does. He barely scores. So that is going to be Lee May with the, uh, with the fourth RBI of the game. And uh, run scored the uh, third run scored by Murray. And the... Uh, the uh, Baltimore Birds have taken a one-run lead here, 10 to 9. And DeSensei up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball third base. So he bounces out to third, 5 to 3. But they get a run, and Tippy Martinez still out there. Definitely got to still be out there. And Joe Morgan steps up, and he gets a 3-8, which is a single one, 18. And that's a single. So, Morgan with a single. Fifth hit allowed for Tippy Martinez. Ken Griffey up. He gets a 6-10, which is a strikeout. One away. That brings up George Foster. George Foster gets a 2-6, which is a walk. So the Reds now are threatening again. The walk forces Morgan down to second. Tippy Martinez with his first walk of the game allowed. Johnny Bench gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball center field B, two away. And with two down now and two on, it's Dan Dreesen. And he gets a 4-8, which is a ground ball short. That's Kiko Garcia. That's a 19 and 3 at short. Is a select another. That's a 16 and a 3 at short. And that's an out. And that ends the game. He bounces out 6-3. And the Reds can't score the tying run in the 11th. So they lose game four by the score of 10-9 in 11 innings. That was one hell of a game, folks. And so now we are we're going to we're going to stay in Cincinnati for uh, game 5, but Cincinnati was una unable to put it away despite scoring 9 runs. But for me it's Sportsman Z Bob Zolke saying 
make sure you see us in game five and I'm signing off.